Namaste. I welcome you to my YouTube channel and I am Dr. Tanvi Mayur Patel, endocrinologist that is a hormone specialist doctor from Mumbai, India. In the last video we spoke about how do you have to take a thyroid medicine that is a levothyroxine in a correct way. And people have loved this video and I have got plenty many comments about the various questions pertaining to this medicine. So I thought of making a special series on this and wherein I will be answering all your questions. So if you have any questions pertaining to this medicine, you can also leave your question in the comment box below. I will try to answer that question and in the next video, I will try to take up that question and make a video part of it. So without wasting a further time, let's continue today's topic. I have made a note of all these questions so what I will do I will read out one question one by one and I will answer you accordingly. So let's take the first question and the very first question is hello doctor I am taking 50 microgram of levothyroxine tablet. My blood tests are normal now. Can I reduce the medicine dose on my own or should I consult a doctor? Please reply. Now, in this question, there are two, three points are already there. First of all, the thyroid medication which you are going to take, it's not an ordinary cough and cold medicine which you can take on your own. So thyroid medications are a hormonal pill. So if you are going to change your dose on your own, it can have its a detrimental effect. It can have an effect even on your heart. So I request you not to do a self medication and do not try to adjust the dose on your own. Always a seeker experts a doctor's help to do so. Secondly, you are taking this medicine on a regular basis and after taking a regular this medicine your blood tests are normal. So there is a very high chances that if you reduce your dose or if you increase your dose again your blood test might change. You might start feeling again a different in your body. So in my opinion always a consult a doctor and take a wise decision. Alright. Now let's take the second question and that is uh, is gym good for the thyroid people? Yes. Gym otherwise is considered a very good for a thyroid patient. Any kind of a physical activity is always good for your overall health. Okay, so if a person who has a thyroid problem can definitely go and join a gym. But before joining a gym, what is my advice to you is that please check your thyroid blood test. Secondly, especially if you are suffering from a hyperthyroid, then uh, get a complete cardiac yani heart checkup done. In this, you will have to do your ECG, a 2D echo and a stress test a treadmill test. So this will ensure that your heart is functioning normally and right way. And if all that parameters come to normal, you can very safely join a gym and do the exercise and try to maintain your body weight. All right. Let's take the third question and that is, can I take this medicine when I am in my period? That's a menstruation. Yes, definitely. Whether you are in a menstruation or whether you are not menstruating, you can continue taking your thyroid medicine as normal and as advised. You do not have to stop the medicine just because you are in your period. All right. Let's take the next question and that is, Doctor, I have a tonsil problem. Thyroid and tonsil, are they same or different? Now, a tonsil and a thyroid, both of these tissue is situated in your neck region. Okay, Though they both share a very close anatomical position, but they both are different. Your thyroid is an endocrine gland okay and this endocrine gland makes a hormones and these hormones they control your entire body's metabolism whereas a tonsil is a part of a lymphoid system 
and the lymphoid system helps us in maintaining our immunity so both of them are completely different they are not the same all right let's take the next question and that is do i have to take this medicine after undergoing a goiter operation all right so first of all understand what is goiter whenever there is an enlargement of your thyroid gland that condition is called as a goiter now depending on how severe is your goiter the treatment varies if your goiter is a very big in that case a surgery is advised now there are mainly two types of a surgery which happens for the goiter one is a partial thyroidectomy wherein we are going to remove a small part of your thyroid gland and the other part of the thyroid gland is intact and the second type of surgery is a total thyroidectomy wherein we are going to remove your entire thyroid gland in both of these situation because we are going to remove a part of your thyroid gland of course the thyroxin hormone production is going to be affected so you will have to take a medicine from a outside in the form of a medication so most of the time these medications are there for a long term and probably even a lifelong so yes the answer is after the goiter operation you will have to be on a levothyroxine dose again it all varies on your blood test all right let's take the next question and that is thyroid problems can occur at what age can they happen in 5 to 6 year old children all right thyroid problem can happen at any age it can even happen in a newborn baby it can even happen to a super senior citizen people who is 70 or 80 years of age it can happen at any age when it happens in a children this condition is called as a cretinism very soon i am going to make a video on a cretinism you can watch that video after a while so thyroid condition can happen in a 5 to 6 year children as well in fact it is always recommended that when a child has a thyroid problem we take a utmost care the reason because the thyroid hormone plays a very important role in our development development of a mental and development of a physics so if your thyroid hormone is not adequate you might have a retardation of your growth okay you might have a delay in your puberty same thing if the thyroid hormone is not adequate you might have a mental retardation you can have a poor memory and a child can underperform in school so it is very very important to take care of a thyroid in children all right let's take the next question and that is is 50 microgram of levothyroxine is considered a heavy dose now first of all i don't understand what is the heavy dose the dose of a thyroid medication varies it varies on various parameters so in general to say 50 microgram is a heavy dose is a very tricky question 50 microgram dose can be heavy for a child but it can be a normal for an adult person so again it varies from individual to individual but if i am talking about an adult person then a 50 microgram is not that heavy dose all right let's take the next question and that is doctor how a thyroid medicine dose is decided now first of all understand you do not have to decide the thyroid dose that is a job of your thyroid doctor and endocrinologist so you don't have to put your brain into it but yes whenever a doctor decides a thyroid dose there are many parameters which we keep into consideration first of all what is your age whether you are a child whether you are an adult or whether you are a senior citizen what is your gender whether are you a male or are you a female if you are a female then are you a pregnant woman are you a lactating or a breastfeeding mother 
are you undergoing any kind of an infertility problem all these parameters also keeps into consideration what is your body weight what kind of a thyroid problem you have what are your symptoms okay besides thyroid do you have any other health problem especially that of your heart besides thyroid medication are you taking any other thyroid uh, are you taking any other medicine so all these parameters have to kept into consideration before deciding a right dose for you so my advice don't put your brain into it let this decision be taken by your doctor all right let's take the next question and that is what is the lowest dose of levothyroxine now the lowest dose of levothyroxine it usually starts with a 6.25 microgram and usually this dose is recommended in a small children all right the next question is levothyroxine a natural or a man made that is an artificial tablet a very good question the levothyroxine which is usually prescribed for the underactive or a hypothyroidism is a synthetic hormone that is it is a man made it is an artificial it is not a natural tablet especially in uh, the medicines which is available in a country like india this is a artificial hormone but there are many countries like uh, america usa uk where we do get a natural thyroid in this condition this natural thyroid is obtained from a domesticated animals and most of the time pigs thyroid gland is used what do they do they they take extract this thyroid gland they dry it they powder it and then they uh, cultivate it in a laboratorical medium with the right kind of a chemicals and this medication is prescribed but in india the medicine which is available is a artificial or a synthetic hormone all right let's take the next question and that is is levothyroxine and l thyroxine is the same or different now l thyroxine and levothyroxine they are absolutely same there is no difference in fact the l the full form of a l is a levo so lt4 or a levothyroxine is one and the same all right next question levothyroxine is a t3 or a t4 hormone now so if you know that your thyroid gland makes a two hormone one is a t3 that's a triiodothyronine and the second is a t4 that is a thyroxine so the levothyroxine which is prescribed to you for your underactive thyroid is a t4 hormone that is a thyroxine hormone all right next question is levothyroxine safe during pregnancy answer is yes absolutely safe during pregnancy in fact if you have a thyroid problem and if that thyroid problem is not controlled then in that case your pregnancy can get complicated it can bring a complication to you during your pregnancy and also to your unborn child so it is always advisable that if you are pregnant please take care of your thyroid to the best next question doctor i am breastfeeding mother can i take this medicine okay so if you are a breastfeeding mother you can very well and very safely continue your levothyroxine dose as advised by your doctor levothyroxine dose does not do any side effects to your child so you can continue breastfeeding and continue taking your thyroid medicines all right so these are the certain questions which i have covered in today's topic if you have any question which you want me to answer please leave that in a comment box i personally read all your questions and i try to answer that and i will also make sure that this question will be covered in my next upcoming video for everyone to understand all right uh, if you want to have a private consultation with me in that case uh, the contact number is mentioned in the description box you can reach out to my staff my assistant will help you in getting a personal paid consultation 
Please note that this private consultation is a paid service and it is not a free. If you want a free answer, I request you to leave that your question in the comment box. You and me, we are connected by this YouTube platform and I will be very happy to answer all your questions. All right. If you have any more questions, I'm here for you. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, I request you to subscribe to this channel. And if you think you found some useful information from this video, please put a like button.